I, uh, I sort of thought about a, a line from uh, the Grateful Dead, uh, what a long, strange trip it's been. I, I think that sort of outlines this whole ESL thing much better than, than, uh, than the present title. Uh, but I was, I was shot down. Um, it, it started out, if, if anybody doesn't know the, the uh, history of it, started out as ESDA. That term was coined by uh, uh, Ron Collette. Uh, at the uh, urging of uh, Doug for rain. Uh, it, uh, that's what it was when I took over the desk at, uh, at DataQuest in 94. And then Dan Skilkin at Summit hijacked the term and came out with a whole bunch of real good tools uh, that were definitely RTL tools, not ESL tool or ESDA tools, and he got everybody convinced that they were ESDA tools. So I changed it to ESL. So a little history lesson on that. Uh, ESL really finally took off. In, uh, in 2004, we had a significant amount of users at that time, a significant amount of ESL users. Um, um, our survey that year, the indications were that uh, Japan, Europe, and the US all were using ESL, not always with commercial tools, but a lot of them were using in-house tools. So that we have sort of said is the beginning of ESL. And uh, at that time, about 4% of the uh, of the TAM, or a, a number of seats that uh, we expect to see coming into ASL were, uh, had moved into, uh, two, in 2006, two years later, 4% of the seats had, had, had uh, migrated to full ESL use. Uh, this year I took a look at it as 5%, so it is growing. It's not growing greatly, but it is growing. We've got this thing moving, thank God for small favors. 